What's up guys? I am Corey and joined with me is Christian. And if you guys have not heard, there is a brand new Dragon Ball Z movie coming in 2015 and we're really excited about it. So today we're going to talk about what we hope to see from the brand new movie. We get to talk about some of our favorite characters, maybe some of the story elements, and frankly just what we want to see from this brand new movie overall. Now when they first announced this movie, they gave us very little details about what it was going to be about. But a week later, we have a few minor details. There's been a small teaser trailer, which if you guys have not actually seen that, we'll put a link for that in the description box below so you can check it out. It's basically just Goku and the Eternal Dragon. But the story is actually going to involve a very deadly wish. The worst wish in history, and that's all that's known so far. All I know is... What do you want to see from the story, Christian? Well, when we saw Battle of Gods, I really enjoyed that we got to see Goku action. He was the main character. I think with all the movies, we've always seen the weaker ones don't include Goku. So I'm mm -hmm. glad they brought him back in strength. And with this new movie, now that we have all these new characters involved, I want to see the story take us into the new universes that they introduced. I want mm -hmm. to see the new gods. I want to see other focus. Uh, I want to see the focus on other characters besides Goku as well. I think that that's really important that we get away from him. Uh, but at the same time, the worst wish in history isn't going to involve Gohan, you know, most likely. It's not <laughs> going to involve like a side character. It's going to probably involve most of the main characters or something that the main characters have to deal with. And that's okay because Goku's an awesome main character. So I'm excited to see him in this story. But uh, what, what are you excited about? I'm just excited because there is a new movie in general, but like as far as like the story goes, before they gave us that small synopsis, I really didn't know what to expect, especially where it was actually going to take place within the storyline. Mm -hmm. But the fact that it now takes place after Battle of Gods really opens up the floodgate for where they can go with this. Yeah, I'm in agreement with you. At the end of the last Battle of Gods movie, uh, Lord Beerus made it very clear that there are other uh, gods of destruction. Mm -hmm. And we never got to see them, we never Tons got to see what they were capable of, like and they could even be stronger. So this is an opportunity to maybe break into that finally, but the fact that they gave us this little like short synopsis about what the movie is going to be about, involving the worst wish in Dragon Ball Z history, and that just got me thinking, what would be the worst thing that could possibly happen to the characters in that series? So, in this movie, I feel like there's going to be someone who's going to make a wish to change Goku back to the way he was, before he hit his head as a baby, thus turning him into evil Goku. And he'll have to literally fight against everyone on planet Earth. He'll have to go up against all of his friends, mm -hmm. and this will force them to have to make the ultimate decision. Can they save Goku, or will they be forced to kill him or die trying? I like your idea, but the thing is, now we have some new information uh, mm -hmm. about Goku's mom, which has been released in a one-shot manga. Yes. And she was seen as very kind-hearted, and, you know, maybe Goku actually is a nice guy and that they've deepened his character a little bit, introducing his mom. As I liked it better character. when he bumped his head. See, Corey just wants the bump his head explanation. <laughs> but And it debunks his whole story concept, so he can't go with that. But I like that idea. I just, I think it's going to be something like maybe someone uh, makes all the, what was it, seven universes? I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Makes them all combined and all the battle of the, the gods. Makes like a to... big composite universe. Yeah, maybe that. there's something like that. And then that way we get to see all the gods mm -hmm. even if they don't fight at least their universes would get introduced to be even though kind of a mush mash but you know it, it would mm -hmm. be really cool mm -hmm. I, I just think it's a very important that they go with the other universes that they introduced and please don't make that wait for another movie <laughs> that's my only real thing that i really want to see i don't think we're gonna have to worry about that now just the fact that battle of gods is so successful and we're already getting a new movie just like a year after that just shows that the fans want more dragon ball and also i thought it was really interesting that you brought up goku's mom because while she's not exactly an important character in any other version of the manga or anime, the fact that Akira Toriyama released that one little special manga series that involved a little bit about her backstory is important, and they could use that in this movie, but I'm not sure how she could get involved with the worst wish, but I mean, there's a lot of other possibilities like for this. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we've already talked about this many times in the past. I think one of the more interesting things about the Dragon Ball Z universe is the other world aspect, the yes. afterlife. Yes. And uh, this is another good example to use that. But there was that one filler arc, and I cannot believe I'm referencing a filler because usually filler sucks, but for some odd reason, Dragon Ball did this one filler arc where it was the other world Pycon. tournament the Pycon. with Pycon. Yeah. 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 And that was awesome. I loved how they handled that because we got to see how vast and different the universe is, and that there's actually heroes out there just like Goku, albeit they all look a little strange. But. That's kind of what I want to see from this. I'd like to see sort of like a universe tournament. Because if there's one thing 
that I think Dragon Ball does right, it's the tournament arcs. It started out with tournaments in the original Dragon Ball, and occasionally in Dragon Ball Z they would go back to that. But if they can involve characters like the different gods from the different universes to come in, and hell, it would be awesome if they could bring in the announcer from the Budokai Tenkaichi <laughs> guys, and like, warp him into like space and make him do the entire tournament, that would be so awesome, that and it would be, be a ton cool. of fan service to, uh, you know, fans of the show. But uh, other, like, superficial things, I want the animation to go up. You want, okay, that's one thing they did make a big announcement about, that mm -hmm. they said that the action is going to be at a much higher level, much more constant, not just back-ended like on Battle of Gods. You could, you could make that case mm -hmm. that Battle of Gods was just a big build-up all the way to the last fight scene. And so they're not going to do that again, or at least that's what they're saying. Mm -hmm. One of the other things I'm really hoping to see is Vegeta become a Super Saiyan God. Because they referenced at the end of the movie that he wanted to be the next one to go through the transformation. So are the rules, now that Goku uh, became a Super Saiyan God, he can't hold hands in the circle and make Vegeta one? Because I don't know how all that works. Because maybe they could do that with Gohan. He could become mm -hmm. one. Yeah, that, that was the you thing know, I like, was thinking about. Like, I'd love to see Vegeta become a Super Saiyan God. But if they could find a way to make, like, all the Saiyan characters go God mode for, like, you know... They, I can imagine, like, an final, action... You know, yeah, like, a final, final action sequence where they're constantly having to switch powers with one another. Someone becomes a God, fights the villain, touch hands with another person, they become a God, they start fighting. I just yeah, think yeah. that would be awesome, and it would involve all of the main Saiyan characters. And that would actually give them a bigger role, because let's be honest, like, we like our side characters, but if you're not a Saiyan at this point, I don't think you're doing much. Or a battle, or a God. Mm -hmm. And speaking of, uh, like, main characters like Saiyans and stuff, what side characters, other than, like, Goku and the main cast, like, you know, like, Tien, Yamcha, Piccolo, what do you want to see? Do you want to see them do anything and be important to the story? I, I want to see Tien do more. I think he's always interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just wish that the side characters would get more involved. I feel like we got some comedy in A Battle of Gods, but, like, what about if you took all those side characters that are, like, first-tier side characters and you gave them a side story instead of, like, going all the way to Emperor Pilaf? You know, or whoever it was. Like. <laughs> and, and I understand. That is one thing, too, that that is kind of hard to read about this movie, because Akira Toriyama has stated that the story of the movie, even though it's involving, like, the worst wish in history, is actually going to be a very funny story, but it's also going to have more action in it as well. And, you know, we don't need Yamcha or Tien to, like, fight the main bad guy of the movie, but if the bad guy's going to have, like, some underlings or, like, his, you know, minions or something... Let each member of the group have a really interesting fight against them, and hell, this is your opportunity to literally give characters like Tien and Yamcha and Krillin a power-up, because this is the continuation of the series, which means they can cool. do something brand new with this. Wouldn't that be awesome if Krillin just comes in to, like, save Goku, like, for instance, <laughs> and he's like, don't worry, I have a brand new technique that you've never seen before that I've been working on. It would be a wonderful way to not only let those old characters grow, but to get some fan service from them. Like, maybe there's some special, like, uh, ring that some other universe has that, like, matches the power of your enemy. So, like, Krillin could put it on, but then at the end, you know, it breaks, because that'd just be way too cheap if all of a sudden Krillin goes from human mode to, like, Saiyan God mode power jump. That'd be kind of retarded. But, I mean, just all of their powers are so interesting. Like, obviously, Tien, he has the third eye, and he has all of his Kage Bunshin clones, and he has the multiple arms, which he hasn't even used since Dragon Ball. And I'd love to see those, like, come back in a brand new, more powerful form. Because I, I think Tien is one of the top contenders, I think, for probably most powerful, like, side character from Dragon Ball. Mm -hmm. But that's just because of all the stuff he showed, not only throughout the Dragon Ball series, but I'm sure you remember the time when he was stopping Cell constantly when he was trying to come out of the ground. Yeah, like, imagine if Tien could do, like, uh, some Hirashi, Hashirama, like, multi-hand, like, attack mm -hmm. you with, like, a thousand hands. It just always That would be me. so awesome, and it'd be a great callback. Yeah, and it'd also be like, oh, there's... That's the thing, like, uh, I think Naruto, they make, like, attacks bigger. Obviously, mm -hmm. they make attacks bigger in Dragon Ball Z when they shoot a bigger beam. But I wish they'd use, like, some of the hand-to-hand -hand techniques and make them larger than life. I feel like that doesn't happen very often. It's just a power-up and then a bigger beam, you know? It's like, let's try it in a different way. I'm sure there's a way we could explore the powers a little bit more in Dragon Ball Z. What are you really looking forward to in the sense of, like, uh, the one thing that has to be in this movie for you? Um... The one thing that has to be in the movie is already there. It's got to be Goku. It's got to be Vegeta. Okay. But I want the side characters. But I, I want a story that is still going to continue and grow the characters, but possibly leave it open for other things. But superficially speaking, I, I just want a slightly higher budget than Battle of Gods, which, okay. don't get me wrong, Battle of Gods is a gorgeous film. It looks great, and the action scenes are exhilarating, few though they may be, but like... 
at the end, there are times when it is kind of hard to tell what's going on. Mm -hmm. They really need to put a lot of emphasis on the hand-to-hand -hand stuff in this next movie. Yeah. You know, speed it up when necessary, but really, like, show what the fighters are capable of. Uh, and just go crazy with it. Like, they need to go nuts with the budget, and I want a really interesting world for yeah, the characters to be That's exactly in. what I was going to say. My must is new universes, new characters, and interesting characters. Mm -hmm. Like, Beerus, he could have been dumb, and he wasn't. He wasn't even evil. He was just a dude that had so much power that it had become bored. Once he met Goku, well, once everyone meets Goku, <laughs> they either die trying to fight him or they become a good guy. But uh, Beerus actually had some great, like, personality. So, new characters like that... And I really want Vegeta to go God mode. Mm. That's you know what, you know what they uh, didn't do enough with with Beerus that I want them to do more with the next movie is that, and I mentioned this with like the location. Most of Battle of Gods was set on Earth, mm -hmm. and a lot of it was just set at Capsule Corp, which is a place you see all the time. The other stuff was just a lot of battlefields and then in space. That could be in literally almost every arc of Dragon Ball Z. For this next movie, they need to go crazy. You remember how Bills had like his own special planet with all the crazy backgrounds and all that stuff? And the crazy animals. They need to go to a world like that again. They need to go on an adventure, just like in Dragon Ball. You want adventure. I yes. see what you're saying. But it needs to be a good mixture of adventure, and there needs to be comedy in there. I know there are people who do not like comedy in Dragon Ball, <laughs> but you have to accept that it's been there from the beginning, and it's going to continue to be there. I know a lot of people are really divided on Battle of Gods, a lot of people either love it or hate it, and a lot of it does have to do with that comedy and the fact that they just want to see that action. I, I do think this is their opportunity to sort of like rectify any of those mistakes and maybe win those old fans back. I, I am one of the people that doesn't necessarily like the comedy at times, so mm -hmm. I feel your guys' pain. But just as much as there's been powering up and going to the next level, there's been stupid-ass jokes built into that series. So <laughs> Speaking just... of which, I'm sure we're going to get a lot of Bulma returning and a lot of the ridiculous other characters. Uh, speaking of which, I want to see some female characters kick some ass. I know that seems like a minor thing, but I want to see Android 18 get in there and destroy some shit because the only movie experience I believe she ever really had that was memorable was unfortunately bio <laughs> you know, And this is the opportunity to bring her back in, maybe even bring back in Android 17. Uh, you know, female characters in Dragon Ball Z don't interest me. It's not that I don't <laughs> care. It's just that uh, they've never been the focus, and I think it's a pretty male-driven show. So I mean, I can understand that. Unless, uh, you know, Goku's mom finally does come back into the picture, but if that one-shot manga was any indication, she's not exactly a fighter. Yeah. And plus, she's dead. Females serve <laughs> other purposes in that show. Like yeah. Bulma, Smart, Capsule mm -hmm. Core, you know, Dragon Ball Radar, mm -hmm. everything like that. But, like, uh, they've just never been the warriors of that show. And mm -hmm. it, it's an action show, so it's kind of about fighting. <laughs> uh, but otherwise, I'm really pumped for this movie. Obviously, I have a lot of hopes and aspirations for it. Um, you've heard our thoughts about the brand new movie. But what about you guys? What do you want to see from the brand new Dragon Ball Z movie? You can tell us with your comments below. And before you guys leave, make sure and hit that like button so you can give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us out a lot. And make sure and subscribe to the channel. And you can also check us out on Facebook and on Twitter. We'll put links for those in the description box below. Do you like Amazon.com? I know I do. Corey and I now have an Amazon link in our video description box below. And if you go to it and buy anything through Amazon.com, it will support our channel. So bookmark that link, make it happen, and support our channel without having to do a damn thing. Another great way you guys can help support our channel is by donating directly through our PayPal link in the description box below. We recommend $2 a month, although this is completely optional. But the best way to go about this is by sneaking into your mom's room and taking $2. This way, she won't even notice. And we won't have to shake you up for all of your lunch money. So guys, that concludes this review today. Super Kami Guru 9000, out.